Hi, I'm Kurt Locks, Dean of the Brooks College of Health. I want to take a moment to congratulate you on the completion of your degree. Despite the outbreak that will always define the spring 2020 semester, please know that nothing will take away from the degree you earned and that you are prepared to immediately serve the world's healthcare needs. So, to all of our BCH graduates, I join our faculty in proudly recommending you for your degree from the Brooks College of Health. Good luck to you and go Ospreys. Hello and congratulations to our graduating class of 2020. I'm Dr. Michelle Moore, Chair of the Department of Public Health and a professor in the Public Health Program. We are so proud of the grace and maturity with which you all have handled the last semester of your college career during this historic time. COVID-19 has had an unimaginable impact on every part of our lives. Although it is foremost on many minds, please do not let it overshadow all that you have accomplished to date. And what a time to be a public health professional. Our field has never been more in the spotlight than it is now. Hopefully some of your last public health educational moments were enhanced and made more meaningful as you witness public health in action, working to protect our communities. We look forward to seeing the great things each of you accomplishes on your journey through life. I will close with a quote by Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know, and you are the one who will decide where to go. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates of 2020, from your program director, Professor Lukens Bull. I just wanted to tell you how very proud I am of you and that you have accomplished something that many never have the opportunity to do. And I look forward to seeing all of the wonderful, amazing, impactful things that you do in society now that you have graduated. Again, I am just so happy for all of you. Please celebrate and know that those of us here at UNF will always be here for you. Take care and congratulations. Hi interns and now graduates. I certainly never thought I'd be wishing you congratulations this way, but it doesn't make the moment any less special. You've accomplished a lot, you've been through a lot, and you're a really special class. I knew that when I met you in August together in pre-intern. You guys have a wonderful spirit, you're truly kind people, and you're gonna make the world so proud in public health. And I was thinking about it, you know, it's a tough time to offer any kind of words of encouragement because we're all in this really weird place. But I was thinking about you all, and we talked in pre-intern a lot about when you tell people your major, public health, the first question is always, what is that? What do you do with that? And you know, the great thing is everyone in the world knows what public health is now. And you're leaving UNF with a degree that is so valuable to our world, to our communities. And I'm really excited to see what you do. We wish you the very best and I hope that you'll keep in touch. Hi graduates, I'm so happy for you and I'm so proud of you. This degree and you graduating represents so many possibilities in your future. You all have possibilities to change the lives of individual people, improve the communities that we live in, and really make a difference in our world. You each can do this. In your future, I hope that you follow your passions. Do something that you really love. You may remember in my class, I tell you all how much I love my job. Well, I really do, and it's because of you. I get to work with college students and teach students every day, so thank you. I hope that in your future, you're as happy as I am at UNF. Take care, good luck, and keep in touch. Congratulations, graduates. I'm Amber Barnes from the Department of Public Health, and I welcome you to the next incredible chapter of your lives as public health professionals. Today, more than ever, your role will be essential to the health and well-being of our neighbors, our communities, our nation, and our world. You may feel scared to take on this challenge, but remember, we believe in you. You are ready. Your next stage may bring success in public health programming, health policy development, scientific discovery, compassionate care, combating health disparities, designing health communication strategies, and improving health delivery. But no matter what, you've got this. And we look forward to watching your continued accomplishments to come. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. 
I am honored to have met you during your stay at the Brooks College of Health. You are all special Ospreys and champions already, so it does not matter where and how you celebrate your graduation. So, as an Osprey, you aim high and you aim large, hold on tight to your dreams, take others under your wings, look for the next challenge, and dive through it. You are an Osprey, and I know that you will fly high. Good luck and best wishes on your next journey, and I hope that our paths will cross again. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Largo White. I wanted to congratulate you on your graduation and to tell you we're so sorry that we can't be with you and we are so proud of you. I also wanted to remind you how far you have come in such a short amount of time. So we'll see if I can do this. <laughs> this is just a year ago. This is Foundations of Public Health when we were together and you were just beginning the sequence in public health. So. It is amazing to me how hard you've worked, how much you've grown in just one year. So I really look forward to seeing what the future brings. Congratulations, best wishes, keep in touch, bye-bye. Hi everyone, it's Professor Owen. Congratulations to all of you. Take a moment to think about what you just accomplished. It feels great, right? You did it. So I just, I want everyone to remember that you might take a few different paths in different directions before you truly find your passion. Remember what I talked to you about in class. You might switch to a different graduate program or take an entry level position when you really want to start in a higher level one or even leave one job for another opportunity. Remember I went from economics to health administration to public health. So even the smallest steps matter and it can lead you to finding the perfect job and the perfect fit for you. You're all on your own path and the only thing that matters is you and only you, not what everyone else is doing or what everyone else thinks you should be doing. This is your life and this is your time to explore and as long as it takes until you find your passion and along the way, make sure to enjoy the journey because you're gonna learn something new about yourself in every opportunity. And that's ultimately gonna guide you to your ideal career. So best of luck to all of you. And if we had an actual ceremony, of course, I'm that one that always hugs. So here is a huge hug to all of you. Um, I wish I could give you all a big hug, especially during this time. And keep in touch and always feel free to contact us for recommendations, job searches, or, or just to stop by, say hello, or email us and say hello. We love hearing from you. Congratulations, you guys. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Stalling Smith. I want to wish huge congratulations to those of you graduating this spring with your Bachelor's of Science in Health, especially those of you who are in my epidemiology class or human diseases class. And I want to wish a very special congratulations to those of you who studied abroad with me, Selena in 2018, and then in 2019, all of you who are my adopted nieces Ali, Audrey, Nicole, and Jen, I wish you the best and I'm so proud of you. Hope when you take that jump, you don't feel the fall. Hope when the water rises, you build a wall. When the crowd screams out, you're screaming your name. Hope if everybody runs, you choose to stay. Hope that you fall in love and it hurts so bad.
lived Hope that you spend your days But they all add up Where?